Hey everyone, Vicki Vicky from Messy Table Studio. I wanted to do a quick little critique on two things that I got in, uh, not in the mail, I got delivered. <laughs> delivered, delivered's the word. Um, I ordered this one, and I'm going to talk about this one, and then I ordered this one. All right, so let's go with the stamps and tiny image advertisements ephemera. I am not as impressed with this book as I was the other one from the company. Um, I don't know what I was anticipating, but I don't think this was it. I have to cut out each individual little square, rectangle. I mean, the images are pretty. And then again, they put nothing on the back, which is a good thing in case you want to glue it down on something. All right, I ripped this page out, sorry. Um, and then there's black and white. There was color, and then there's black and white. And here are giant postage stamps. Replicas of very old postage stamps, some of which I have in a collection in a book somewhere. Um, okay, so these are the little images. They look like posters or advertisements of some sort. Yep, they are. These are um, famous painters. I think these are mostly Van Gogh paintings. They're Starry Night. There's Sunflowers. Those are the two that I know. Oh, then, then there's Self Portraits. Um, so I think these are mostly Van Gogh paintings. More advertising little poster type things that are stamp size. And then the back of the book has, um, looks like somebody just opened up a paper bag and photocopied it. That Because you can see the seam from the paper bag, the fold right through here. Same with this one, exact same thing. They unrolled, they un, um, they took apart a paper bag because you can see the seam here through all the way across and all the way down. So this was part of a paper bag that had a lot of um, advertising on it. Again, same thing, another paper bag with the lines where you can see them. The same for this one. This one again, same thing. And these are white copies of advertisements. I, um, I guess this is meant for you to color in some way. I'm not really sure why they put the white in here. Now these don't look like the brown ones. These look like they were photocopied from some kind of a uh, newspaper or a magazine because you can see the lines up here. You know, and then they have the line dividing them, and then some are darker than others. So it looks like it's a compilation of um, advertisements. And then there's the two pages of white paper in the back. A little disappointed. I was hoping for something a little bit better. But where there is disappointment, there is a redemption. So this is from the same company, the Operation Reprint. Look at that. Uh, whoa. And then it has like grungy, sidewalky looking sort of paper. It looks like somebody spilled coffee on a sidewalk, concrete sidewalk. Very blotchy. Looks awesome. Then you have this with the alphabet and it has numbers. And the same thing on the on the back side. This it these are look like what if it was smaller they would be the keys to a manual typewriter. That's what they remind me of. I think they are because look, there's two symbols on here. And if you hit the shift key on the typewriter, then it'll be the top one, just like it is when, um, when you're on a laptop or a phone or something like that. These are letters of the alphabet with uh, pictures of hinges as a background. Same on this side. Oh, look at this. Is this not a beautiful thing? Woo! Same on the other side. And look at these. These are just 
exquisite. They're wonderful. Same on the back side. This is vintage music. Looks like um, they put music and uh, then there's uh, machine work type stuff here. I think it's like the motor works for a clock. There's um, a globe. There's uh, the inner workings of a clock. There's an hourglass and there's a pocket watch. These are all background. Wonderful, wonderful. Same thing on this side. This just has music paper and it's a little on the orangey yellow side. Same on the back. Oh, look at all these things. There's a, uh, what does it say? To stand on, plat dangerous to stand on platform. This looks like a car license plate, not sure. So does this. This is, uh, what does it say, agricultural and manufacturing, some kind of a permit of some sort. These are clocks from different time zones, and these are just mishmash of alphabet. Same exact thing on the back. Oh, my goodness, there's a lot going on in this one. How do I see all this? Um, there's a picture of a man. There's tons of pictures of calendars and advertisements. All kinds of stuff on this page. There's just too many things on this page to name them all. Beautiful page. Same on the back. And there, um, this is some old town. And it looks like somebody wrote, had a photograph and they wrote, you know, in the old days, they would write stuff in pen on the photograph itself. Or it could be a copy of a postcard. Um, and this is the back of a postcard, so that might be the front. These look like these are bills of laden. And these are just ticket numbers. Same on the back. I think when you have a page like this, you get two prints, one on one side, one on the other. These are alphabet uh, numbers. Not alphabet, numbers. And here we go. L look at these. They remind me of typewriter keys. I'm just, wow, this is very cool. Oh, and there's more numbers, and there's the same thing on the other side, and I'm sure this will be duplicated on the other side. And there we go. These are kind of fuzzy looking and a little more ornate. These are done, I think, in some kind of a gothic print or something, or a script print. Calligraphy. Big numbers. Big numbers. And brown numbers. Sorry about the glare. Let's see. Make, calm, reserve moments, depart 7.32 a.m. Adventure, South Main Street, um, E-L-I-X-I-R. I'm not sure how you say that. And it says record, a a admission, record admission. These are license plates. These are light bulbs. These look like typewriter keys, and these are, looks like this is a counterbalance clock. This looks like a counterweight scale. I mean, it just has all kinds of cool stuff in there. Here are little tags, and these are, you know, they're not, where's my, hang on, let's set, I rearranged my desk, so here I am looking for stuff again. These are two inches approximately two inches tall, maybe give or take like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch, but basically you're about two inches. That looks like a ticket. They all look like a tickets. And that's it. Oh, you don't get it on the back too. <gasps> Darn! Okay, so there are two books that came from the same company that my book came from the um, Operation Reprint. Let me tell you how much I spent on these so you can be prepared. I don't want anybody to faint. <laughs> uh, my stuff, got, the, let's see, this one came yesterday and this one came today. You know, you've already seen this, right? Nope, oh, wait. <laughs> All right. Amazon gets any slower. Oh, I'm uploading a video. That might be why it's slow. Come on. Cycle through. Let's do this. 
there should be something on here about how much I paid for it. Arr. View order details. There we go. All right, this grunge book was ten ninety nine. Yeah, ten ninety nine, and the stamp book I think was less, and it's a good thing it was because I don't. I'm not going to return it, but it's not my favorite. It will not be something that I would ever buy again because I, I feel like I didn't do a good job ordering it. Here we go. I don't know what I was thinking when I got it. I just I just ordered something off of there because I found it. Uh, no, it's nothing's damaged. Just tell me how much I paid for the silly thing. I'm not asking you to replace it. I just want to see how much I paid for it. There we go. Oh, my word. Oh, no, I didn't pay that for that. Phew. This was $10.99. Yeah, this was $10.99. So basically $11 and $11. Personally, I like real stamps better than photos of stamps although I have used photos of stamps they will come in handy um, I'm not I doubt seriously I'll use this page of baseball players um, and I'll do any baseball <laughs> so that's that's a bust for me cats yeah dogs absolutely flowers absolutely positively Black and white. I have a black and white book going on right now. So yeah, I will use those. And I have tons of stamps. Come on. There we go. I have tons of stamps that are already cut from a stamp um, catalog that I bought more than a few years ago that Shannon Green was telling everybody about. And then everybody went crazy and ordered their catalog. And they were these types of things in the catalog. You know, so... Um, I've got lots of these, like, in their regular size from the catalog. And I'll use these. I'll cut them out. And I'll probably use this stuff in here. But I'm a little disappointed. This stuff is not exactly the kind of things that I use in my vintage stuff. But, you know, you make do. And I already paid for it, so it's staying. Plus, I ripped the page out. See, that was the determining thing. <laughs> this is outstanding. I really like this. But let me preface this by saying, you could probably get some really great stuff off of Flickr via the commons. You could get good stuff off of Etsy from independent dealers and help support somebody who's in business. Um, if you can't do any of those things, you know, you can always get this. I think um, they're not a bad deal for what you pay for them. But you might do just as well and get really nice stuff if you buy somebody else's vintage things off of Etsy. All right, so there's my comment commentary on the two books from um, Operation Reprint. Uh, does it say it on the back? No, it says it on the... Yeah, it does. It says Operation Reprint. And then I think on one of these... Here you go. On the inside here, it talks about... All, right, all rights res reserved. You cannot transmit, copy, photocopy these things by means of electronic or mechanical things. Photocopy, scanning, or recording the information, um, information storage and retrieval system without permission, write, in writing from the publisher except for review for inclusion in a magazine, newspaper, or broadcast. So you can cut this up and you can use it in a grunge journal but you can't photocopy any of this stuff to use it more than once I'm just saying the stuff off of Flickr in the commons you can copy that a million times over the stuff that is copyright free this you cannot do that too alrighty so I thought I would show you the two that I bought so far I might get more I don't know we'll see alright everybody this was supposed to be quick I will see you later. Bye.